Hello and welcome back to the African Informant. In today's video, we are discovering the Bantu people, their origin, tribes, cultures, languages, and their distribution on the continent. If you are new here, welcome. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification so you don't miss any of our videos whenever we upload them. Without further ado, let's dive into the Bantu people. The word Bantu was coined by a German philologist called Willem Blake in the 19th century to mean people. The word Bantu therefore was used to refer to a group of people speaking different but related languages. Across West Africa, East Africa, Central Africa and Southern Africa, there are approximately 500 tribes represented under the umbrella of the Bantu people. The Bantu people are believed to have originated from Central Africa from where they spread to different parts of the continent. The Zulu of South Africa and Swaziland, the Shona of Zimbabwe, the Hutu of Rwanda and Burundi, and the Swahili of East Africa are some of the largest Bantu tribes. At least 350 million people on the continent speak one of the Bantu languages. The main economic activity of the Bantu people was agriculture. It is only the Bantu people that had the technology of making iron from iron ore and using it for cultivation. The Bantu people are known to be expansionists because of how they spread. A few hundred years ago, they were a small community dwelling in Central Africa. But look at now, the Bantu people are widely spread in Central, Eastern, Western and Southern Africa. They have nearly conquered the whole of Africa. In fact, the Bantu people are currently known to be the largest ethnic group in Africa. They constitute about 30% of the total black population in Africa. Because of their expansionist nature, the Bantu people assimilated and absorbed many proto-populations they came across. For example, in East Africa, they assimilated several hunter-gatherer and Kushite groups, which clearly explains why the Bantu people from Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, Burundi, and even Uganda are very different from other Bantus. The Tutsi of Rwanda and the Kikuyu from Kenya, for example, are believed to have substantial Kushitic and Nilotic mixtures, respectively. The Hausa of Southern Africa are believed to have substantial Khoisan genetic ingredients. The Swahili people from coastal Kenya are also another group that originated as a result of a mixture of Bantu and Middle Eastern people. The Swahili language is actually a mixture of Arab and Bantu. <laughs> The Bantu people created some of the strongest empires in the world. An example is the Great Zimbabwe Kingdom, which had marvelous stone towers, granite block defensive walls, and stacked boulders. Other strong Bantu empires included the Zulu Kingdom and the Baganda Kingdom. It is important to note that currently, the Bantu people are not only expansionists in Africa, they have also become expansionists abroad. There is a significant Bantu diaspora, especially in Brazil. Brazil has the largest black population outside Africa, and the majority of these Afro-Brazilians came from Angola, which is a Bantu country. Due to their agricultural nature, the Bantu people occupied some of the best arable lands on the continent, with excellent climates and very fertile. In Kenya, for example, they occupied high-altitude areas around the slopes of Mount Kenya and in Tanzania, around the slopes of Mount Meru and Mount Kilimanjaro. And with that, we come to the end of this amazing episode. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Be sure to like, share and subscribe 
as I bring you more information on the African continent, people and culture.